Hey friends, it's Kiba here. I just wanted to make a video talking about Dragon Age because I am so fucking excited for this game. I would love to be one of those YouTubers who could just like gather little clips from the game and like add them here to like show you and edit and just like give you like a really nice presentation of a video but unfortunately all I can do is ramble because I have a flight in a few hours so I don't have time to like film and edit and script a really good quality video for you so I'm just gonna rant a little bit. <laughs> so Okay, so I've been a fan of the game since 2012. 2012 is when I started playing the game. Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2 were out. I played Dragon Age Origins at least 15 times. I love that game. It is my favorite game of all time. Um, it has a lot of flaws and it has a lot of amazing things that it does correctly and I love everything about that game. Um, but I think it's also good to critique things that you like because um, there's definitely like a lot of criticism of the game and a lot of things that could have been done differently or fixed. Um, there's a lot of bugs in the game. You know, it's, it's old. It's dated. But it's a fantastic game. They put a lot of love and a lot of effort into the lore, the gameplay. Well, the gameplay is a little lackluster, but they put a lot of effort into like the tactical system and the abilities of your characters. Like there's an endless possibility of abilities. There's so many different abilities that I've like just never used because I've played the game, even though I played the game so many times, it's just like, there's so much to choose from. Um, you're always going to have like a different build. Um, I've had games where Sten was my only warrior throughout the whole game and he was just a tank and he was just a beast and then I've had other playthroughs where he was just like he would die in five seconds so depending on like how you build your character it can really just like change the game for you and just make it a wonderful experience or a horrible experience <laughs> because that game is freaking hard um not if you're playing on casual but um actually even sometimes on casual it could be a little difficult but um, I've gathered every achievement, played it on Nightmare multiple times. I usually play it on Nightmare because that's just the most fun way for me to play it. Um, I played Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age 2... Oh, I can't. I can't talk about Dragon Age 2. I love it so much because the story, I think, is so well written. But um, the gameplay is just really bad. I know they improved upon it, but also there's just like so much different like imbalances in the gameplay that it makes it really hard and difficult to like want to keep playing it. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition, there's, it was great. It was great, but it was bad. <laughs> it was too big. There was too much lackluster content. They focused too much on open world because that was the year that like open world games were like huge um well maybe not the year specifically it was like shortly after Skyrim and you know Skyrim was popping and everybody was like oh my god we have to make an we have to make the next open world game we have to make the next Skyrim we so Dragon Age was like oh open world is what everybody wants right now let's make Dragon Age open world and it's like it wasn't even technically open world it was it was it felt like open world but it wasn't um so uh, as somebody who has, I, I played Dragon Age Inquisition three and a half times, I think, maybe four times. Um, as somebody who's played all three games multiple times and loves this series dearly to my heart and soul and my core, nothing really truly deeply excites me as much as Dragon Age Veilguard because I have been waiting 10 years for this game. <laughs> uh... When Dragon Age Inquisition came out, I felt like like my mind was blown, the world was at peace, and I feel like the world is about to be at peace again for me, personally. And um, 
I've been watching so much. I've watched every single trailer. The official reveal trailer was trash, absolute trash. And the devs themselves were like, this is not what we wanted to put out. So I think somebody higher up on the chain um, in EA was like, let's release this for like a modern audience. Let's make it Disney so it'll appeal to more people. And then the devs are like, this is not what the fuck. How are you marketing this fucking game? Like it literally looks like straight out of a Disney movie and where it's supposed to be like dark gritty gory fucking fantasy game like what are you doing um so it was it was disappointing but um a lot more people actually watched the gameplay trailer which makes me pretty happy because the gameplay trailer was wonderful I absolutely loved seeing I think it was like 20 minutes I loved seeing the gameplay. I think it's so fantastic. I think it's absolutely stunning. Like, it's literally such a beautiful game. Um, I think the combat looks really smooth and really awesome. I'm, I'm really excited for the combat. I was a little bit disappointed that they dropped the tactical um, pause screen combat system. And a lot of fans were disappointed in that. But everybody who's played it, I've watched so many people's videos who just like... YouTubers that I follow and YouTubers that I don't even follow, like just anybody, anybody who has played the game, I've watched their video in full detail of their review of, um, the, like their first impressions videos. Um, sorry, I'm not editing this, so I'm, I'm sorry if I'm like stuttering or misspeaking, but, um, yeah, so many different people I've watched their videos and everybody is giving positive reviews so far. Everybody who's played the game says that they love it so far and that they understand why the tactical combat was dropped because I was looking at it and I'm like, this is like giving Elden Ring God of War vibes, like all the dodging and quick combat, but I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Um, I'm not somebody who likes Elden Ring. But I am somebody who likes God of War, so uh, I think I will like the new combat style. I think it's going to be really cool, and it's going to be a really interesting change for the series. However, I, uh, I know a lot of people will play through the Dragon Age games and never use the tactical combat at all. I am the opposite of that. I am, I am pausing constantly. Like, every five seconds, I am pausing to look at my environment, look at where I could flank enemies, where I need my character's position, what what character is doing what move. I am constantly using the tactical combat, so it's going to be really hard for me to like change, but it seems like they somewhat have like a similar iteration of that by um being able to like pause to select your uh companion's abilities even though you're not able to directly control them at least you could still uh command them to use certain abilities which is s still pretty cool it's like a watered down version of the tactical combat system that we love and know that is no more r.i.p um so i feel like there is like a lot of criticism of the game that's just a little bit like I don't know a lot of it is coming from like bigotry and like like a lot of people um are complaining about like there being uh what's it called um why am I blanking I'm blanking because my mom walked by and I didn't want her to hear me talking um Oh, top surgery scars. A lot of people are complaining about that. And I'm just kind of like mad about it. I had like a whole fight with somebody about it. Um, fuck you. If you have a problem with that. Because it's just transphobia at its finest, in my opinion. Um, it's really not that hard to add a scar to a game. And to make a, a group of people feel included in a game is cool. And, um, I don't think it harms the company at all, considering the fact that a lot of their audience and targeted demographic is the LGBT community, considering their games are, have always been very inclusive from the beginning, with a lot of bisexual characters and gay characters, and there are trans characters in the game as well, so I don't see why, um, adding a scar to a game is a problem. 
Um, basically, the only argument that I've really heard on that is that um, it, like, people who are disabled don't want to be disabled in video games. Um, I wouldn't necessarily consider that a disability. Um, it's just a really strange argument that didn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, and, like, yeah, like, people in wheelchairs were mad. Not about this, but, like, that they added wheelchairs to, like, Dungeons & Dragons. They're like, we don't want to be in wheelchairs, you know? And it's just, like, I feel like that's a really weird comparison because it doesn't really align with the same thing. Um, because being trans does not necessarily mean you're disabled for having scars. Um, that's really that's not that's just my take on it that's my opinion you could have your own thoughts and feelings on that uh comment them down below but uh i just feel like a lot of people are like just fueled by hate um and that's why they're criticizing this game and it's really disappointing to see um because a lot of those people are saying like lies and like really silly things like um uh, there was one guy who made a video being like, oh, um, Dragon Age is not selling pre-orders. Uh, I have an expert here. And he brought in his friend who, and his friend was like, yeah, I went to my local GameStop and the man behind the counter said that, um, Dragon Age isn't selling a lot of hard copies. Okay. So the expert your friend went to one GameStop, one local GameStop, and said that they are not selling a lot of physical copies in that particular location. Okay. So your one GameStop is the... I don't even know what word to use. <laughs> That's the tell for how well the game is going to sell. <laughs> Bro, I pre-ordered my copy of of uh, Veilguard from Best Buy personally because fuck GameStop. A lot of people just don't support GameStop anymore. A lot of people don't want to buy physical copies from GameStop. A lot of people don't want to buy physical copies of games. A lot of people are just buying digital games nowadays. So you're not accounting for any of the digital sales, which is like, you just look stupid. You're not accounting for the fact that the game could be pre-ordered in multiple places not just GameStop and you're also not accounting for all the other GameStops <laughs> in the world so that's just like ridiculous to me um a lot of people it, like if it it's just crazy to me that it's like if you think that this game is not going to sell because they included the top surgery scars what like what the people who are bigots like, this game isn't marketed towards them. Like, this this game is marketed towards a lot of the LGBT community. Um, and it's meant to be inclusive for everybody. And it, like, bigots are not going to buy a game with gay characters in it already. So what does it matter if we add more trans inclusivity? And if somebody says that they don't want to buy the game just because there's top surgery scars in it <laughs> so be it go buy another game like a lot of people are saying that this game is gonna flop but i really don't think it is um dragon age inquisition made about 30 million dollars they sold over 6 million copies um and it was it was quite a success at one game of the year it was a it wasn't even that good of a game arguably origins was better and origins did not sell as well because it was the first one in the franchise uh i think dragon age origins only sold like i think it was two or three million copies between two and three million copies um dragon age 2 sold the worst it sold like one point something million um so the fact that inquisition did so well should be a testament to how well this game is going to do but also the fact that this game is beautiful they put so much effort into it. Um, 
it's literally they changed the combat system so that it would be more fun and interesting to new players and they have a really really big story this time and I feel like this is going to appeal to a pretty large audience and I think that um, the story is very interesting and the lore is very fascinating so I think it will draw in a lot of people this game is getting a lot of attention and a lot of people are really excited to play it and a lot of people were really skeptical and really like oh I think this game is going to be bad and then they played it and they were like wow I was wrong like this game is uh, really really great so far I'm really excited about it so there's a ton of also Bioware is so confident about this game the fact that Bioware has confidence in this game is good because they flopped their last two games Anthem and Andromeda were trash that's why they made Mass Effect Legendary Edition because they were like how the fuck are we going to make money after our two last games were absolute failures they made Legendary Edition because they knew it was going to sell that was the, they didn't do it because they like any other reason they needed the money like they needed to pull through so that way they could continue to make games and there are a lot of people out there who are Mass Effect fans who are going to buy Dragon Age because they want the next Mass Effect to come out. They don't even give a fuck about Dragon Age, but they're going to support it and play it because they want the next Mass Effect. And they don't want EA, I mean, they don't want Bioware to fail as a company. Um, I don't think that this game is going to flop at all. I don't think that... Um, I don't think that Bioware is going to take a hit for this, and I think that if the game were to perform poorly, EA is such a big company, I don't think they're going to drop Bioware completely because of Mass Effect specifically, um, but honestly Mass Effect and Dragon Age um, both have a pretty decent sized fan base, so I think that, um, but especially Mass Effect, we all, we all know the Mass Effect fan base is... It is what it is. <laughs> I would argue that it's larger. Um, however, I don't actually know the numbers on Mass Effect and how well it sold. Um, but I would argue that out of every single video game tattoo that I have, Mass Effect is the one, my Mass Effect tattoo, my N7 tattoo is the one that gets recognized more than anything else, even more than the Pokemon on my arm. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that Mass Effect is just a very big popular series and Bioware really wants to continue making Mass Effect and people really want to see Mass Effect, more Mass Effect, and I don't think, I think EA would be stupid to disband Bioware if their game didn't do well, which I really don't think that is, it is going to do poorly. I'm very, very excited for it and I'm going to love it. I'm, I've loved every Dragon Age game. I'm going to play the shit out of it, and I'm going to have the most fun. And for the people who think that people are making videos, being excited about this game, are faking it, or being paid by Bioware, you're stupid. Um, people are excited because we've been waiting 10 years for a new game, and there is a very dedicated fan base to this game series, um, especially predominantly in the LGBT community because there's not a lot of games that give us the kind of representation that Dragon Age does. Dragon Age and even Mass Effect. Um, so to see a game so popular be so inclusive is a really wonderful thing and it's a step forward for the community. Um, and yeah, I think that like um, some people do have a point on, like, maybe, like, people shouldn't be screaming so much about inclusivity. They shouldn't be, like, demanding it so much. Um, I think it's important, but I think that I see a lot of people in my community who are very aggressive about it. And I don't think that the aggression really helps anything. Um, I understand wanting to push towards like um, inclusivity and wanting more representation. That's like, it's important. And we can be loud about it without being aggressive about it. That is just my opinion. Um, 
I'm pretty loud and vocal about how important I think representation and inclusivity is in media, but I'm not aggressive about it. And I think the aggression really puts people off. And I think that the aggression uh, really uh, especially makes uh, people, especially bigots, more angry and it just makes them fire back. Um, and even people who are in the middle, they're like, oh, like, I, uh, I wasn't so sure about you gay people, but now you're all assholes, you know, you're all aggressive fuckwads, you know? So I feel like some people in the community can definitely tone it down a bit. Um, that's just my personal opinion. As somebody who has been very aggressive in the past, I find that being aggressive about my opinions and my stances doesn't really get me anywhere. I find that just talking more calmly about how important I think it is and how we should be loud about it. Loud and aggressive are two different things. I think, you know, we should push for more representation in media for sure because people want to grow up seeing themselves represented. We want to watch content that's about us, you know? Um, we want to see, you know, models for good, um, relationships and, and different struggles that people go through. Um, I've been thrown off track. But anyway, I'm very excited for this game and it's gonna be amazing and I'm gonna play it a million times and I'm going to, I took off of work and I'm going to wake up at 8 a.m. and I'm gonna go to Best Buy and I'm gonna go play my game and then I'm gonna go trick-or-treating with my niece and then after I do that I'm gonna come back home and play my game more <laughs> and I'm going to play it and play it and play it over and over and over and over again and choose different choices every single time which I think Bioware is amazing at integrating all sorts of different choices and I've been waiting 10 years for this game and so have a lot of people so I don't know if you're if you're a hater then be a hater go hate somewhere else because like the people who love the game are gonna love the game whether or not you're hating and people are going to support this game no matter how much you're gonna say that it's gonna fail for the haters only for all the Dragon Age fans out there all right um hopefully I'll see you in the next video but I probably won't you'll probably watch this and not subscribe to me which is fine. I love you anyway. Bye. Thanks for watching.